Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Samhita Hachar. I'm the oculoplasty pediatric and squint consultant at Netradama Super Speciality Eye Hospital, Jainagar branch. So first, let's start with what is a squint? A squint is a condition where there is a misalignment between both the eyes, where one or both eyes are crossed. So how can you as parents identify the squint? So when you are seeing your child, like when you are observing the child on a day-to-day -day basis, so if you see any deviation in the eyes, either inwards or outwards, it might be for distance while watching the TV or it might be for near work when they are reading or doing any near activities or even in photos you might be able to identify the squint in your child. Also look for any abnormal head posture like tilting of the head or forward bending of the head when the child is viewing the objects. This can be one of the presenting symptoms in a child who has a squint. So definitely a squint in a child needs to be evaluated as soon as possible because of one main phenomenon called as lazy eye. So children with squint usually do not see with both eyes together. So the eye which is squinting usually gets neglected and that is what becomes into a lazy eye or amblyopia as we call it. So lazy eye meaning the vision in the eye will be lesser and even when the child sees with that eye, the vision will be less. So that is what we call as a lazy eye. So to prevent this lazy eye phenomenon, it is very important to identify squint as early as possible and get the right treatment. Is my child too young to have a squint checkup? So I've heard many patients asking this question. So no age is too young for a squint checkup. So even as early as a three month old child or a six month old child, if you are noticing a squint in your child, you have to get it evaluated because primarily identifying the cause of the squint and whether the squint is likely to progress or not and whether it is associated with a lazy eye is very important to identify. Once this is identified, based on the type and age of the squint, the treatment will be suggested by the squint specialist. Not all squints need to be treated immediately at presentation, but identifying this type of squint is important. So irrespective of the age of the child, get evaluated for the squint and take opinion from your squint specialist. So lazy eye or amblyopia is a condition where the vision in one or both eyes is less compared to the regular standards irrespective of structurally being having normal eyes. In the sense the eyes look normal anatomically and structurally but the vision is less. So this condition is called as a lazy eye. So when can a child get a lazy eye? The most common part is when the child is having a squint. As I was discussing earlier, when the squint is there, the eye which is squinting usually gets neglected and is the one of the causes of a lazy eye. Also, if the child is having high refractive errors, which is not being corrected, even that can lead to a lazy eye. So this is one thing we need to know. So first question what parents usually ask us is, is squint correctable with glasses or exercise? So that purely depends on the type of squint which our child is having. If the squint is due to refractive errors such as accommodative squints, then it is correctable with glasses. Sometimes orthoptic problems wherein the muscle imbalance is there can cause a squint. That is correctable by exercises or some kinds of intermittent squint as in the squint is there sometimes but squint is not there sometimes. So these kind of intermittent squints can also be corrected with exercise. So you need to get the squint evaluated by the squint specialist and depending on the type of squint, some of the squints can be corrected by glasses or exercise while others would require a squint surgery. So the recovery time is quite fast after a squint surgery. So ideally a one day bandage may be there or sometimes even a bandage may not be there depending on the type of squint surgery and maximum one week is required for recovery from the squint correction. So one week has to a little strict precautions have to be taken to avoid infection. Uh, by one week, the eye movements will normalize and the child will be completely normal. So, first and foremost, get your regular eye checkup for your child, irrespective of whether the child has symptoms or not, because sometimes some children may be asymptomatic but might require some help. Secondly, if you see any squint, any deviation of the eye or abnormal head posture, 
get it evaluated immediately as that is one of the signs of squint and might affect the child's vision and may be a cause of lazy eye and get checked for any refractive errors in your children because untreated refractive errors can also be one of the causes of lazy eye and fourthly if at all a squint is diagnosed and your squint specialist is suggesting some treatment for the child get it done immediately and in case a surgery has been suggested plan to do it within 6 years of age for complete binocular vision development of the children and lastly for any squint related issues or lazy eye related issues do visit your squint specialist and take their advice regarding when is the best time for treatment and what is the best treatment for your child as each child is different and treatment for each kind of squint is different